Hi there, Darakula ULC Robotics here to talk to you about AIM, our AI-driven utility mapping software. Utility companies manage millions of overhead electric assets. Data collection and regular inspection of these assets is time-consuming and can be pretty costly. Powered by AI and machine learning, our AIM solution automates the data collection and processing of the visual data from these assets. The data is processed in real time and the model's accuracy is higher than 98%. The deep learning model can accurately identify poles of no assets, poles of fuses, switches, and transformers. ULC can further develop the model to identify additional assets of interest that would be of use to the utility. Through a patent pending technique, the system accurately measures the location of each identified asset and creates a global map of the inspected area. This data collection and mapping can be done at highway speeds in real time, and the results can be integrated into any GIS mapping system. The raw data, identification and inspection results, as well as the GIS information, are stored on a secure cloud-based management system. This system can be accessed from the office or the field. Let's take a minute and walk you through the user interface of AIM and show you a little bit about how it works from behind the scenes. Each user will have their own unique login and password. On this map, you'll see a number of pins. Each utility pole is identified by a pin. These pins are then color coded in correlation to what assets are on the pole. If I zoom in here and click on a pin, I'll get the information related to that specific utility pole. If I go down to the project summary here, we can see the project number, the date of inspection, the location of where the inspection was conducted, and a great feature here that I like for the end user is the ability to add any notes when reviewing the data. As we move over into marker details, here we're going to get the GPS location to that specific asset. We're also going to get the latitude, the longitude, as well as the tilt angle, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Again, the assets that are attached to the specific pole are noted here if there are any. Next, we move into the images of the pole itself. We get a high resolution of the pole, then the pole with its tilt angle demonstrated. Now, as I was talking about earlier, the tilt angle of the pole is actually picked up from a multitude of images as the vehicle is passing by the asset. Finally, we get a picture of the asset itself. We have the ability to zoom in on each high resolution image, which can allow us to see the pole identification number and even the asset identification information. The user interface system has an asset summary that allows us to filter out assets within our distribution network. For inspection purposes, I can narrow my data down to just transformers, for example. Taking this a step further, our model is trained to allow us to identify the leaning angle of the pole. If we were looking for a quick overview for problem poles that have transformers on them in a given area, I can increase the tilt angle to whatever is deemed necessary by the utility. This really helps narrow down which poles I need to inspect urgently. All right, just to wrap it up, AIM can cost-effectively digitize the mapping of your electric distribution system to meet the needs of regulators and customers. After storms and emergencies, images captured by AIM can help to rebuild damage and down poles as they were. AIM can be used by utilities to help pinpoint issues that may affect system reliability and prevent outages. Data and images detailing what assets are on each pole can really help streamline asset management tasks. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and helpful. If you'd like any more information or would like to inquire about using our AIM services, please don't hesitate to reach out and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.